Do you mind asking yourself a question? What do you want your experience to be like? In many ways, there is a lot about life that is not of our choosing. Still, couldn't you ask yourself what direction you want to turn your life in that would help you feel more alive, more satisfied, more in love with life? Where are you feeling passionate, interested, really thrilled to be living that life? What little steps could you take to get to something that you really love? I'm currently in a town called Lyme Regis. It's got about 3,800 people and it's in the southern coast of England. I'm following three passions with this trip, to travel to fascinating places, to collect Jurassic fossils, and to walk in the footsteps of Jane Austen. And when it looked like the plague was in another lull, I booked a flight to the UK. And for those who have read Jane Austen in the book Persuasion, this is the very spot where Louisa Musgrove fell. Please comment if you know what I'm talking about. Ask yourself, what experiences do you want out of this life? Beekeeping? Move to Norway? Become a vice president? Collect old pieces of metal? By the way, I would appreciate some help identifying this. I know I have lots of privileges that others do not have. I'm incredibly blessed to have had my early education paid for by a very smart and hardworking grandmother, and my next degree was paid for by an employer. Imagine the people trying to get started and they have these terrible heavy loans and they have to pay all this down and launch a career at the same time. If this is you, you must feel really stuck. But also, when you're creative, it is possible to find ways around obstacles. Here's an example of a woman who was one of the most famous women who lived in this town, Mary Anning. She was a fossil collector who lived in the mid-1800s who found two plesiosaurs and an ichthyosaur, one of them when she was 12 years old. Wow, I would love to find an ichthyosaur. Although she was not allowed in the Geological Society of London, she was hugely influential in teaching the gentlemen their own profession. She was the first to find a fossil of an extinct animal in England, turning all of the field of paleontology on its ear. I feel strongly that we're here to experience life fully. Just think of all the limits we had in Jane Austen's time that are no longer a reality. Sure, we still have a ton of limits, but I see things as getting better. Even if it seems like we're taking one giant step back and then maybe another one and maybe another one, you still have to see all the other millions of signs that things are also getting better. I've got to go. It's my birthday and it's also time for tea.